Hello everyone. Today I have a nice little project to do a cremation ashes with crushed opal ring in stainless steel rings. Um, I've already started this project a little bit. And just to show you, this is what it looks like once it's done. I've already created a ring for myself. And this has got a, a nice blue opal in it. You can see. So this is how the ring looks. It's a really nice flashy in it with my mother's ashes, which uh, I am working with today. And what you need is you need the crushed opal. And of course the cremation ashes. Uh, my mom passed away last year, so I wanted to do some memoriam jewelry for myself. Uh, you also will need uh, UV resin of your choice. You can get this on Amazon. Um, over here, off to the side here, I have a uh, UV uh, lamp. It's for nails to do gel. Uh, this comes in handy when you want to finally seal the rest of your ring. Uh, also, I today I'm using finger cots. You could use full gloves, but today the finger cots will, are much easier to work with. Um, already I have put down a layer of this ink. It's a white uh, white acrylic pen. And I put down some white on, underneath here so I can uh, kind of bring out the opal and the ashes better with the white background. Sometimes you can use black as well. Also, today I will not be doing the sanding for you. I'm just doing an introductory today on how to insert the opal and the ashes. So here we go. I'm going to put some more ashes down. I've already started it a little bit to kind of speed up the process, but uh, I've already shown you the finished product of what it looks like. So today is just to show you how to do it. So I put the ashes in, and these are stainless steel rings that I'm working with today. And I will put the links of everything I used into the description for this video. So you put a little bit of resin down at a time, little bits, just so that you don't get it all running. You see, it's already tried to run down the ring already. So it's uh, you can only put a little bit at a time. The UV, the UV resin is kind of a little bit runny. It's not as thick as this viscosity is very thin on this stuff. I found that this kind of resin actually is a better hard, hardening resin. It's not as sticky when it's done curing. And I've tried a few other resins, and uh, I like this one the best. So I will put the link in for that. Put a little bit more down here. And you want to make sure you pack in your stuff into the gaps of the ring. Now I might I might have to sand this down a little bit just to uh, keep it solid. I use uh, dry wet sandpaper and I use water sand. I do uh, wet sanding so that the dust doesn't create so much. So so far so good. Yeah, so this is how this is how it's done. Um, I'm gonna finish this ring and I'm gonna end this video, but I just wanted to show you today how it can be done without using all the fancy tools and stuff. 
and if you just have like basic tools to use for this like you could use small little like little these little spoons and the finger cuts are quite important to wear because well you're handling human remains so You might want to do that if you're doing any custom rings for someone. And it's important too if you want to start sanding down your stuff if you have too much buildup and you want to sand it down, be sure to wear a little dust particle mask so that you don't in inhale any of the dust. This is why also I use the, the, the wet sanding because using the water is much better than than the dry sanding in the air and then you're not inhaling it. So here I'm almost finished this ring. It's very tricky. Sometimes I'll just use my fingers too. You can do that as well. push that down in there and you can see the really awesome looking flash on this opal really nice it's beautiful once it's done like and you see this out in the sunlight and the opal is just so amazing looking a beautiful flash to it I'm going to finish this off with a little bit more opal. A little bit more ash is kind of mixed in here. So I like to use the spoon because it uh, I can pinpoint this better instead of using my fingers. Okay. Tap that down, make it nice and flat. So there you have it. The ring is finished. And now I'm probably going to go back and sand it down, which I'm not going to do a video of. But, uh, yeah, so the ring is completed. And all I got to do is just sand it down. Well, this is a chain stay that I'm using on here to make chain bracelets, but uh, there you go. And there's a beautiful opal and the ashes. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mighty Cat Creations, and I'll make sure that I'll create some more really interesting and cool projects for you. Have a great day and happy Thanksgiving.